Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2023 Chrysler Pacifica. This got either key fob here. I can operate both power sliding doors and the trunk hatch. Got a brand new rear entry conversion. I can operate this entire conversion using just two fingers. Has a handle on either side. I pinch and I flip. Super easy to do. Look here, I can take this to the ground using only my index finger. I tell our customers, if you can lift a gallon, of, half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate this 34 inch wide ramp with ease. That's four inches wider than a side entry, so you can get a bigger chair in these rear entry. If someone parks next to you in a side entry, you cannot get out of your vehicle. Not the case with the rear entry. The rear, rear entry have more ground clearance for getting over rougher terrain and things like that. And they're more affordable to convert, therefore more affordable for you to purchase. A few of the reasons I prefer the rear over the side, but we sell both, so if you want a side entry, give me a call. 800 pound weight capacity, 56 inches of headroom coming inside the van, then 56 once you're inside the van. Does taper down to about 32 inches of width here at the base. Uh, we can put a third row seat in here. They'll flip, flips down when you want to use it, flips up when you don't want to use it. Uh, so you could potentially haul six people plus a wheelchair in here. And this channel, this is the deepest channel out of the Toyota Dodge Chrysler. The Chryslers have the deepest channel. So if you, they're about a foot longer than Toyotas and Dodges. So if you want to haul two wheelchairs, this might be the answer for you. About 21 inches of room between those seats. We do have seats that flip up on their sides. My point in telling you all this is a lot, a lot of customization we can do to these vans. Tell us your measurements. Let us know how many people you're hauling. Let us help customize this van to meet your needs. Brand new Q-Strain tie-downs there. Got your shoulder harness if you want it. Got your uh, plug-ins for all your electronics over here for your passengers in the back. Got all your tie-down instructions and warranty in there. Real nice center console. Only 485 miles on this van. Not 4,000, 400. Darn like a brand new van. Uh, steering wheel controls to keep your eyes on the road. Got your backup camera. I'll show you more about that. Dual climate control. Plugged for all your electronics. And of course, you can do all the power doors from the center console up here as well. So when you get everybody secure, come back out. Reverse the process. Very simple to do. And uh, this van comes with a, this conversion comes with a three-year unlimited mile warranty on the conversion. Now, our competition is going to tell you they have a better built conversion than we do. Of course, that's what they're going to say. That's what they get paid to say. Ask them what their conversion is. Most likely, they're going to tell you three years, 36,000 miles. So if their stops at 36,000 miles and ours goes unlimited miles during that three years, you tell me who has the better built conversion. Got your alloy wheels. Of course, all the tires are dang near brand new shape. As I do a walk around to the van, it's like a brand new van. Super clean. Hard to find any blemishes whatsoever on this van. Went straight from uh, the dealer over to conversion over to us. So I think they drove it from the dealer uh, to the conversion. That's why it's got a couple miles on it. But like I said, 485 miles on it. Beautiful van. And uh, no matter who you buy from, make sure you get a uh, VIN number. A video with a VIN number. That way it shows you, you know, it's hard to duplicate this little... Uh, Rip here, so make sure you get a video of that VIN number and make sure you're not getting ripped off. What we do with the VIN number on a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles, you can see it's one owner, no accidents or damage, a rental vehicle. Uh, a lot of the people ask, you know, why did the rental company get rid of it with under 500 miles on it? So a lot of times um, they'll buy fleet, they won't need it, you know, they over, over purchased for the summertime, for example. So yeah, this was actually driven just a little bit by the rental car company, I had it confused with another dang near the black one that we have but anyways one owner no accidents or damage uh, last owned in Missouri as we scroll down Carfax shows no salvage junk rebuilt fire flood hail or lemon brands on the title and they show no total loss so this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles clean title no accidents Carfax shows no structural damage airbags have never been deployed odometers accurate no accidents or damage and no open recalls and no matter who you do business with look them up online check out their reviews and ratings Look at us on eBay, 1,358 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. It's a pretty darn good uh, report card right there. And uh, no matter who you do business with, find them online. Make sure they are a real company. Make sure you're not getting scammed. Find us on Google. Look at our 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. You can see we're here in Wichita, Kansas. I hear a lot of people, they complain to me about they bought from a dealer that overcharged them $10,000. They bought from a dealer that title problems, frame damage, flood damage, you name it, I've heard it all. 
I look up those dealers online. They've got one, two, you know, three-star ratings. Or they end up buying from somebody off Craigslist or Facebook, a private individual they know nothing about. They end up getting scammed out of their life savings or they end up buying a complete lemon. You know, as a dealer, I'm sorry, as a buyer, you do have a responsibility to find out who you're buying from. You know, do, you, do your due diligence. It doesn't even take five minutes. Look them up online, see who you're buying from. If you're buying from a dealer that's got, you know, one and two and three star reviews, you're going to have problems with them just like everybody else. So if you want five-star vans with five-star service from a company that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, another great feature about this van, when you get the doors locked, you hit the remote start button twice, the remote start fires up. So whether it's summertime and you want to come out to a nice cool off air conditioned vehicle, or it's winter time and you want to come out and take advantage of those heated seats and that heated steering wheel to a nice warm van, you've got that option to do so. Extremely clean inside, got the power driver seat here, works great, black leather interior. And let's say you're going to use this van for non-emergency medical transport. You hit the button there, this makes these doors manual. So you can open and shut them quickly. You don't have to worry about breaking those ramp motors or anything like that. So that's just an option to have. And of course you can take advantage of the power doors as well. Rear air controls over there. I know you've already seen back here, just giving you a little different perspective. I know a lot of you may have never seen inside a mobility van before. And another great thing I like about this van, it's got the push button start. So if these keys are in your pocket or if they're in your purse, put your foot on the brake push button the van will officially fire up there like I said 484 miles on it no check engine lights on no airbag none of that got our big screen there a lot of great features on this fan I believe it has the uh, cross button traffic We've got a heated steering wheel heated seats um, lots of apps on the uh, on the radio and all that good stuff and it also has I believe the cross traffic and uh, for safety purposes it's also got the uh, lane departure system there so if that little that little orange light I'll try to show it to you on the test drive but you know if someone's in your blind spot it lets you know on either side so a lot of great safety features on this van uh, power mirrors power windows power locks I'm going to show you those mirrors over there heat air crews belts hoses suspension steering I've had my guys check all this stuff we do not assume things we do not assume just because this van's dang near brand new that everything works on it you know we, we inspect the vans thorough whether they have 400 miles on them or 400,000 miles on them we inspect them under the hood has a 3.6 v6 engine idle smooth no signs of any damage no signs of any leaks and it purrs like a kitten it does fall under the specs to be under the three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty and the five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty from Chrysler Dodge underneath Looks fantastic. Looks brand new. A little scrape. A uh, little scrape there on the... Yeah, looks like someone probably coming off a truck. Scrape, scrape the plastic there a little bit. Those truck drivers sometimes aren't real careful, but... You'll never, you wouldn't know it if I didn't show it to you. It's not going to affect anything. Just a tiny little scrape on the plastic. Uh, that's the number one mistake, though, people make when they buy used vehicles. They assume things. As I crawl underneath the vehicle... Much of the same, very clean, no signs of any bent metal from an accident, no signs of any uh, flood damage or anything like that, no signs of any oil leaks, and of course, you wouldn't expect that on a vehicle that's nearly brand new, but I still just want to show you. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy vehicles, they assume things, you know, they assume because it's low miles, they assume because it's darn near brand new, they assume it's got a clean title, they assume it hadn't been in a bad accident, and I'll tell you what, Go check out my competition. That's right. I'm sending you to the competition. Do they show you the reputation online so you know you're buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show you a Carfax report so you know you're getting a vehicle that hadn't been in a bad accident? It's got a clean title. Do they get out on the ground, show you underneath the vehicle? You know, don't, especially if you're going to be spending 60 plus thousand dollars on a van, do not assume anything. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a Carfax report. Get online. Find out who you're buying from. And do not risk buying as is. Demand that warranty. We do not risk. Uh, we stand behind our vehicles. That's why we make sure every single one of them comes with a warranty. And if you end up buying a vehicle that does have, you know, frame damage, say from an accident or something like that, it may not pass inspection in your state. If it can't pass inspection in your state, you can't drive it. So please compare me to the competition, not only when it comes to price, when it comes to reputation, and when it comes to how thorough I go to show you exactly the vehicle you're getting. Please. Please, please compare me to the competition. So let's get her out for a test drive.
Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this specific at home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure it's roadworthy. We assumed nothing. We tested everything, including the road test. So give us some gas here. Steering wheel is nice and straight, no unusual vibration or noise. Pops up to 70 miles an hour, no problems. Got the cruise control set, cruise works, runs and drives like a brand new van. Also keep in mind it does have the uh, meets the specs to be covered under the factory warranty along with the conversion warranty. We do sell long-term warranties, uh, bumper to bumper type warranties, good anywhere in the country at any shop you want to take it to. Uh, they go anywhere from all, all that to eight years. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long term also keep in mind we don't have any hidden fees a lot of these dealers they show a real nice price online what they have hidden in the fine print or they don't tell you about until you show up to buy the vehicle it's a 500 dollars administrative fee they've got dock fees they've got tag fees and oh yeah they don't have free shipping like we do so next thing you know once you add up all those hidden fees once you add up the shipping that real nice price you saw jumps three or four thousand dollars not such a nice price anymore so be sure to ask about those hidden fees be sure to ask about that shipping before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. All I can say in the car business, transparency is key. If people aren't being transparent from the get-go right off the bat, there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding. So be aware of that when you're out shopping. Nice hard brake, no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. And if texting is easier for you or you just feel more comfortable texting, here's my cell phone, 316 518-4377. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You've now got my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number or to get to call in and talk to an automated system, end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back or you get that super aggressive used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, if you're being sick of being treated like just a number to all these companies out there, or if you definitely want to avoid that super pushy used car salesman, give me a call. I promise I'll get you taken care of, and I promise no pressure sales here. I'm going to sell the Pacifica whether you buy it or not. Absolutely no pressure sales here. Uh, yes, we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to take an application over the phone. Uh, yes, we do take trade-ins even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle, call me, I can explain how that works. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every single vehicle and dozens of pictures, so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.